So I'm making a few final alterations to my 82 moon circuit and our decade resistance boxes are so cool to add in circuit and you can literally play around with the values. Um, in this case I'm trying to make sure I've got the center frequency of the tilt EQ um, directly in center. Um, I normally use this Time Electronics uh, model 8000 which is absolutely fantastic but I saw there's a lot of cheap ones this is like 16 pounds off Amazon and for well how bad could it be um, turns out pretty bad so these are not actual banana plugs they're just like stumps so there's no holes or anything where you could poke a wire through um, very peculiar and they don't work with banana plugs at all. And inside, very simple design. You can see each of the uh, units are on different rotary switches. And it, halfway it works well. But the main problem is, is that the, um, there's a play on the switch here. So, I don't know if you can fucking reproduce this. When it's working fine, it jumps across okay. But sometimes, like here now, it's not straight on. There's a lot of play in all of them. See, like there, it's jumped, and it's in the gap, and it should be there. So, I'm going to give it an attempt to see if I can glue these uh, rotaries down so there's no slack. Um, and I'm going to use, like, a super glue. This one is called a gel, so I don't really want it to drip down into the inside. So, um, I'm going to try and glue these into the correct position and see what happens um, after that. Okay, pretty smothered everything in that glue. Uh, and we'll let that dry for 24 hours and come back and see if anything um, that works. Now, another thing we can do is maybe tin this copper. Might make it more durable. And, of course, if they're using SMD resistors for each of the settings, um, uh, if I can even probably replace those with higher position ones if we need to um, but we'll see how this goes first okay this has been left to dry now for about a week which is how you want to leave this stuff I think it cures a lot longer than they say on the tin but anyway um, as you can see now it's not loosey-goosey at all and each one makes a good contact however Let's set it to zero. And at zero, we can see that it's almost one kilo ohm. And if I go up a kilo ohm, so it's, that's almost two kilo ohms, and that should be one. Um, and then I realized that if I press down on these two, look, uh, that gets down to one ohm, which is close enough for zero for me. So yeah, we're definitely going to have to tin these copper traces, I think, just to make a good connection.
Okay, so we've got proper banana plugs on them now. So we can... Let's set everything at zero and see how low it can go. 1.5 ohm, that's not bad. But I'd really only really mainly be dealing in tens. That's uh, should be 11 ohms, that's 11.5. 20 ohms, 30 ohms, 40 ohms, 50 ohms. 61 ohms, 71, 81's pretty not bad. Not obviously not for anything precision. Let's try 100 ohms, 200 ohms, 300, oh, 400 ohms, 500 ohms, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then we're back to one ohm. 1k, 2k, 3k, 4k, 5k, 6k, 7k, 8k, 9k, and one ohm, two ohms, 3.4. Yeah, this lower range is uh, not fantastic. Might change this to uh, mega ohms. Um, I have to see what SMD resistors I've got. And I've decided to keep it really simple and just use the top three pots so this it comes through here and then back into the switch bypassing these two bottom ones all together um, and let's see how stable that is now so with these two out the equation we're actually at zero ohms 0 0.2 which is pretty good so let's see if we go 10 ohms 20 ohms 30 ohms 40 ohms, 50 ohms, 60 ohms, 70 ohms, 80 ohms, 90 ohms, and back down to zero. And then if we go up in the hundreds, probably needs a bit twitchy still, <laughs> not brilliant. 200 ohms, 300 ohms, 400 ohms. 500 ohms, 600 ohms, 700, 8, 9, okay, let's try the 1k, 2k, 3k, uh, 4k, 5k, 6k, 7k, 8k, 9k, and then back down. So let's say we want 3.7k. We'll go 3.7. That's not bad. Or let's say we want 820 ohms. Not bad. Pretty close. Well, I can get back to what I was doing now because um, I really needed two sets of resistors. This is going to be good enough for now. Um, would I recommend going for all the effort? I don't think so. I think I would, if, you, if I was you, I would, or well, maybe even if I am me, which I am, um, I might even uh, make a decade resistor box myself because I only really need these three units um, and a good switch quality switch would be about £10 so that would be £30 um, plus the resistors um, I wouldn't do it in the way that they were doing it with the five resistors I would actually probably use 10 um, but for now um, I can crack on and get my Tilt EQ lined up okay catch you next time